So all of our work clauses have involved numeric numbers or um, numeric statements like weight grace, greater than 90 or age less than five. What about if I wanted to be able to see all dogs of a specific breed? Let me come back here and let's decide on a specific breed. All right, let's see if we can pull back the Chihuahuas. I see that I have two Chihuahuas and I have two Shih Tzus. I see that I have a mini dachshund and then a full size or a regular dachshund and I have a variety of different labs. So let's see if we can pull back the Chihuahuas. I'm gonna create a brand new query, seeing if we can pull back Chihuahuas. So we are gonna select, let's select dog name. We'll select dog breed and dog color. I'm pretty sure that we haven't pulled back fix, so why not? The one thing that I would mention is that SQL is not a case-sensitive. Case Just like HTML is not case-sensitive, neither is SQL. So my keywords do not have to be in uppercase. As a matter of fact, even my query doesn't, I mean, my, my table name doesn't have to be in uppercase. I have a tendency to uppercase my keywords just so they stand out from the rest of the words in a query. So let's see if we can pull back um, breeds where breed is equal to Chihuahua. I'm going to surround the breed Chihuahua in quotes, in double quotes, because it is a text field. I didn't have to surround my numbers, like age greater than three. I didn't have to surround the three with quotes because it is a number. But I'm, I'm going to have to surround any text fields by double quotes. Let's see if we can bring back both of those Chihuahuas. And I have both of the Chihuahuas. I remember saying that there were two Shih Tzus, so if I put, if I change Chihuahua to Shih Tzu, I should be able to pull back those two dogs. And there they are. All right, I'm gonna change this back to Chihuahua because what happens if I wanna bring back all the Chihuahuas who are younger than five years old, who are under five years old, I can add what is called a compound condition. So I'm gonna say breed equal to Chihuahua and I'm gonna say age is less than five. This will bring back all Chihuahuas who age is less than five. And if I remember my primary table correctly, there was only one. I had one Chihuahua who was under five years of age. So I'm gonna save this query. We'll call it Chihuahua under five. All right, so what if we wanted to see all dogs that were either chihuahuas or their color was black? Let's create a brand new query design and see if we can bring back all dogs who are either chihuahuas or their color is black. So we're gonna say dog name, and then I'm gonna pick dog color and dog breed, and then fixed because we haven't um, seen that but a few times. I'm gonna say from and the name of my table is dogs. This time I'm gonna say where, I'm gonna say color is equal to black and I'm gonna to have to surround that by double quotes because it's a text. And then I'm gonna use my other logical statement which is or, and then we'll say breed is equal to Chihuahua. Now let's see if we can bring back all dogs who are either black or they are Chihuahuas. And now I have four of them. I have two chihuahuas and two dogs who are black. One is a Labrador and one is a black lab. If I wanted to, I could sort these by breed. I could sort them by color. Let's sort them by color. As I said before, if I'm gonna use that, first key, that last keyword, we're gonna order by always goes after where, and then we will sort them by color. So let's run it, and this time we have them sorted alphabetically in ascending order by their color. I can see the two of them are fixed and two of them are not. So I'm gonna save this query. We'll call it black or, oops, or chihuahua. Looks like I have a query here I may not have saved. I am going to save this query. We'll save it as dogs over 90. 
one thing that I would mention is that if I close down all of my queries and if I close down all of my table, this is asking me if I want to save the changes. When I sorted it by weight, do I want to save that? I can just say no. I'm going to close down all of the queries. Once they're all closed, if I want to reopen any one, if I want to reopen the table, I can just click on it and it reopens. If I want to reopen a query, if I double click on the name of the query, it runs it and I can see it in datasheet view. If I right click on the tab, I can see, I can change it to be SQL view. And I want you to notice that after it ran it, Microsoft Access added that semicolon to the end of the statement. So let's see if we can bring back all dogs who weigh less than 10 pounds that are not Chihuahuas. So I'm going to create a new query in SQL view. We want to bring back all dogs who weigh less than 10 pounds. So I'm going to put weight as one of the fields. I'm going to put breed as another one of the fields because I would like to know if it worked or not. Then we can select age or dog name. They all just have to be comma separated. And then I'm going to say from dogs where. This time I want to bring back dogs whose weight is less than 10 pounds, but I want to exclude Chihuahua. So I'm going to say and breed is not equal to, in quotes, we'll put Chihuahua. So let's see if we can bring back dogs who weigh less than 10 pounds, excluding the two Chihuahuas. So I'm going to run this query and see what we get back. Well, it looks like I only had two dogs who weighed under 10 pounds. Apparently only four who weighed under 10 pounds and two of them were chihuahuas. So let me verify that by sorting smallest to largest. Looks like I have one, two, three, four. Oops, I gotta sort by a, excuse me, weight. I have one, two, three dogs who weigh under 10 pounds and one of the two of them was a chihuahua, excuse me, one of the three was a chihuahua which brings back the Pomeranian and the Shih Tzu. So let me go back, there we go. We have the Pomeranian and the Shih Tzu. So this is a way for me to verify that my query is indeed running. So I'm gonna save this query. We'll save it as non-Chihuahua under 10. So what if I wanted to bring back all of the dogs who weighed somewhere between 10 and 50 pounds? I'm gonna create a new SQL query we're going to see if we can pull back dogs who weigh between 10 and 50 pounds. So I'm just going to select weight from dogs where. Well, there's a couple of different ways that I can do that. I can say weight is less than 50 pounds and simultaneously weight is greater than 10 this should give me all dogs who, less, who weigh less than 50 and simultaneously more than 10 pounds. Let's see how many dogs we get if I run this query. Based upon the weight, it looks like I have exactly five dogs. If I come back to my original table and I'm looking at weight um, that's greater than 10 but less than 50, there's one, two, three, four, five. So it looks like I pulled back all five dogs. Another way that I can run this query is, if you don't mind, I'm going to type it right below. I will have to delete the WHERE clause above because I can't have two of the exact clause. This time I'm going to say WHERE WEIGHT and then I'm going to use a keyword BETWEEN. And I'm going to say BETWEEN 10 and 50. Cool is not a case sensitive language. I can only have one WHERE clause so I'm going to have to delete the one above it. And let's see if this brings back the exact same five dogs. This time, when I use the keyword where, it included the dogs that weighed exactly 10 pounds and it included the dogs that weighed exactly 50 pounds. So I'm going to, just to make this more reasonable, I'm going to order it by weight. So let's see if we can sort it by weight. We'll run it one last time. So the difference, or the, the special thing about weight, or excuse me, between, is that between is what is called inclusive and it is going to include the two endpoints. It included the 10 and it included the 50. When I just did um, where weight is less than 50 and weight is greater than 10, it was exclusive. It included the excluded the endpoints, but, but the between keyword is going to include both the 10 and the 50. So let me save this as between 
10 and 50. 